Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a trip in the rooftop tent out in some nasty rain, wind right on the edge of the ocean during a massive tropical windstorm. So this is the very beginning of this windstorm. This tropical storm is supposed to push up into Cape Breton over the next few days. And you know exactly where I'm gonna be, out exploring, camping, in a tent, hammock, rooftop tent, you name it, I'm gonna be out there having some fun. So for tonight, the first night, I decided to bring the rooftop tent out. We got Boomer down here, so him and I are out on this adventure together. I've got a hot cup of coffee on the go right now as setting up this rooftop tent and annex by yourself in wind is no joke. It takes a lot of work. And I brought along a little toy for later on because we are damp and we are going to be a little cold tonight. So I actually brought a diesel heater that I rigged up to run inside of the rooftop tent. I keep the heater down here run hot air up, forced into the tent using a battery unit. So stick around later on. I want to get that out, get that set up and show you guys how that's working. But for right now, this cup of hot coffee is calling my name, guys. So I'm sitting here staring out at the forest right now. I've got the ocean to the back side, which is a beautiful 360 degree view from up in the bedroom. And I think I'm just gonna relax for a few minutes, guys. So cheers. I'll catch up with you as soon as I'm finished up with coffee.
right, guys, coffee break was pretty epic. Walking down the beach, I'm totally soaked and I am getting cold, but it is absolutely worth it to be in the elements like that and just feeling like you're part of the environment that you're in. Boomer is absolutely feeling like he's part of the environment as well. He is wet. He's got a wool blanket on the ground. Um, he's not terribly cold. He's actually running around having fun chasing birds on the beach and splashing in the water. So he's going to sleep really, really good tonight. But coffee break is done. So now I'm going to tidy up a little bit and get the diesel heater out, get it inside of the vestibule and get it rigged up. So later on this evening, it will be ready to go just to fire it up really quick and simple. So I'm going to work on that for a little bit. It is getting later in the day, so it's going to be dark soon. Uh, I want to get that done and then turn my attention to cooking get some dinner cooked up, eat, and have all that done before nightfall. And it is gonna be awesome. I listen to those crashing waves and the tent shaking back and forth with the wind. I think it's gonna be epic. So let's get some work done, Boomer, and we cook some food. So I've got the heater running right now and essentially what I've got going on is a little heated area for Boomer. He is quite wet. He's still getting used to the noise of the fan because he can feel the fan blowing on him. But he doesn't know what to think about it yet. So it is cranking some serious heat. I've got it cranked up to max right now. Blowing 40 degrees Celsius hot air. And still climbing. So the temp's going up. It is, it is burning 30 watts right now on the battery. That will go down because I've got that heater crank max. All that information is in my other video if you're interested in that test because I actually performed that test in that video. So everything seems like it is working and it's honestly, I can feel the heat is rising inside. The front door is still wide open. If I were to shut that, this area would warm up even with the bottom open. So. Oh, oh yeah. 
That is gonna be so nice tonight. Nice, hot, dry air to dry out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So I'm actually gonna leave this on for about 10, 15 minutes. Everything's working really well. Um, obviously this is going up there for tonight. So we're just gonna leave it dangle down here for a moment, warm up, maybe dry out my pants a little bit while I'm sitting here actually, that's probably a good idea. And then I'm gonna shut it off, save it for later on, and turn my attention to cooking supper because I am hungry. It is getting later and I'm starting to feel the dampness and the cold set in. So I'm just gonna run this for a little bit, soak in some of the heat, and then start cooking.
All right, everybody, supper is totally finished with two thumbs way up on that from me and from Boomer. We had beef, we had onion, we had shin ramyun noodles. Absolutely incredible with a dab of spinach. Super good. So Boomer was totally dry earlier from the diesel heater being cranked on. Uh, he's been running around. He's kind of a little frisky right now. He's been running around growling and jumping through the grass and stuff. And uh, been giving him a mohawk every now and then with his wet hair. So he is a little bit wet right now. It is back from raining and it is total darkness outside. So we're going to be parking our butts in here. And I see you already won up. Why don't we get you out of your little harness here? Dry out a little bit better. We're going to be hanging out inside of the annex for a little while. And uh, I think the only thing that I have to do is go back out to the truck and grab a couple clothing items and things like that. Uh, just make sure everything's locked up, go around the truck, turn the lights off, make sure I don't leave anything outside and back inside and up top. So we're going to relax right here for a few moments and kind of just let food settle. Uh, listening to the rain hitting the tent and the crashing waves, excuse me, absolutely relaxing right now. So we're going to kick back, relax, get this door shut so the rain doesn't come in, get all over the floor and the blanket area. And we'll catch up with you guys very shortly. guys we've been lounging around here for the last hour to an hour and a half and boomer's falling asleep so i think it's going to be time to head up top i do have the movie saved to my phone that i do want to watch and fall asleep too so i think we're going to head up the ladder into the tent so i've got my lantern i do need to first off shut this off there are mosquitoes out right now so i did bring my mosquito repellent it seems to be doing a decent job but um the temperature is really strange so it's a tropical storm coming in it is cold it is damp and we are going to use the diesel heater but it, it's warm enough that the mosquitoes are still out so it's kind of irritating in that sense that it's cold enough but it's not cold enough so i've been lounging around in this all day kind of bouncing between a hoodie and kind of jacket and, and i just found that this is the easiest thing to do it's nice and thin and light once it's wet it'll dry quick so with all that said, it is time to get upstairs. So I'm gonna to toss Boomer up there, and then I've gotta come down, get the battery, run the cable up with this ducting hose for the diesel heater. We'll get all that routed in there. And once we're situated, I'll be able to zip the zipper shut on the screen door, and that'll pinch on the ducting, holding it in place for the whole night. And I think we'll be pretty, pretty comfortable up there, I gotta say. So, Boomer, you're first to go up, and I will be right behind you. So here we are up in the tent and I've already had to go down the ladder to turn the diesel heater down because 
it is crazy hot so i had that thing cooking at about 25 degrees celsius and it is blowing directly into my face right now so the way it's angled coming in the mesh uh it's blowing right at me boomer's loving it because he's drying out really fast i do have this mesh zipped shut but i've got the solid panel open so there is fresh air coming in i've got this panel open just a tiny bit as well and the solid panel in the doorway down by the foot end is wide open so there is air circulation coming through i can't open this window and i can't open this window because the wind of the ocean is blowing the rain this way and i would just get soaked but that thing is pumping out some crazy crazy hot air and this is holding heat way better than i ever thought it was going to so i'm going to be running that on low i think because it is very very warm up here so boomer as you guys can see is already going to sleep so i guess i'm gonna be watching a movie by myself tonight which is totally fine i'm gonna get stripped down into some base layers and a t-shirt and i'm gonna start relaxing enjoying some of that heat and the sound of the crashing waves so good night everybody and i'll see you first thing in the morning for coffee
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, absolutely perfect morning this morning. Cloudy, misty, rainy, moody skies. The temperature is nice and cool. Boomer is soaking wet because we've been out running around having a nice coffee on the rocks next to the ocean. And that is how I start my day. So cheers, everybody. Morning coffee. So last night was pretty awesome. Having this pipe run up into the rooftop tent. I'm telling you, that thing was rocking hot. And I had a down sleeping bag good for negative 18, which was way overkill last night. It got down to seven degrees Celsius. And having this key, the diesel heater over here kicked down to a low temperature, I was actually open in the sleeping bag all night long, just lounging there. I literally did not need a sleeping bag at all. And I've only burned probably about a cup, maybe 450 to 500 milliliters of diesel fuel from what I can see through the little window. Now, I'm not how, sure how accurate that reading is. I'll have to make little marks and do more testing on that. But I did not burn a lot of fuel is what I'm trying to say. Boomer's trying to get up off the ground. Uh, so the diesel heater is going to be awesome this winter time for sure. And I'm looking forward to it a lot. So Boomer loved it. He was out. He fell asleep pretty quick to the crashing waves. He was all tired from running around all day. And I think that's going to be the same thing today after we're done running around tonight. He'll probably sleep really well. So we're going to continue with our coffee routine and basically relax for a few moments. And then we are going to start the pack up process because we have other places to explore and other things to do. So good morning, everybody. And cheers again for coffee. Finish this up and start packing up. everybody everything is totally packed up tent is secured everything's loaded in the truck and we're ready to get out of here so we want to thank you very much for joining us on this epic overland adventure with some beautiful landscape and beautiful weather conditions 
Boomer's a little wet and cold, so it's time to crank the heat and get out of here. So peace out, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.